years ago today, a crime scene changed their lives forever. But today, one local family is hoping to help others that are grieving the loss of an infant. New tonight at 11, our Emily Longnecker reports on the special gift and the lasting legacy. In your name, we dedicate this final time. Eight years ago today, the family you see here suffered an unthinkable loss. Kathy Crane came home to find her son Jeremy and seven-year-old granddaughter Kylie murdered. This time of year hits pretty hard for us. This family knows what it's like to miss years with two people they loved more than anyone. And we have Kylie's birthday in October. And you have Thanksgiving, so you remember the last Thanksgiving with the kids. Yeah. And then you have today. And then you have Christmas. And then you have Jeremy's birthday in January. That's why this year the Cranes donated a cuddle cot to Riley Hospital for Children in Jeremy and Kylie's memory. Our family, unfortunately, did get the gift of time. And that's just what they want other families who lose babies to have, time with that infant, even though it's passed. So this is an incredible device because it's a cooling device for a baby that's been lost. The cuddle cot will provide an additional option to, to give to these families. It's going to add another layer of support to provide to Riley maternity families. Right now, there are 20 cuddle cot devices in hospitals across Indiana. The Cranes say they're proud to add one more to that number in honor of Jeremy and Kylie, hoping to help other families grieve, something they know about all too well. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.